welcome back to Cruising As Crew. My name is Lucy. So this is my first day on board. I've literally just stepped on the Scarlet Lady. The first thing I did was take my medical to the medical center to be checked, hand over my passport. I actually need to go and hand over my C1D visa because the cruise line is gonna keep my passport and my C1D visa for the entire contract. And then I have safety training and then I need to get my luggage and I need to unpack and I need to have lunch and I need to do my online courses so it's a busy day and I'm going to bring you along with me. The first thing is we need to go and take this C1D visa to the crew office with my passport. Woohoo! Okay, let's go. Well, you might be a bit confused me saying that because they're like, isn't your C1D visa, isn't your C1D visa in your passport? Yes it is. But the C1E visa is valid for 10 years and I've had a new passport. So I always have to bring my old passport with me as well as my new one. Because obviously my new one is the one I use to travel, but I need the old one because it has my C1D visa inside of it. And when I came on board, um, I gave them my passport, but I forgot to give them the old one with the C1D visa in. So I just need to go and drop that off at crew office. Now I have handed over my C1D visa, I need to go to the training. So there will be a security training, a medical training, a, what else? A lot of training. They're gonna tell me a lot of things. So I need to get some water because I'm gonna be in training for a while because it always takes a long time. Um, I'll try to get some clips of the training session, but usually, of course, they're anti-phones. So, yeah, I'll do my best, but let's go. I have just bumped into someone who said that our luggage is on board now, so before I go to the mess and eat, I am just going to go and get my bags. Hey, thank you so much. I'm good. How are you? see you here. You too. veggie burger, broccoli and a bit of dal. but it is mostly done. Yeah, gonna jump in the shower and then I think I'm just gonna have a lie down because I'm not good. <laughs> and then I'll start work later on this evening.
put some clothes on. It has just turned five o'clock. So I'm gonna go and have some dinner and then I'll come back and get ready for work at seven. Um, yeah, so now I've got 10 minutes, so I'm going to take a very slow mosey to work. I just cannot believe, I cannot believe I'm going to start work in a minute. Let's go to work. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so nervous. I've done this many times before. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> What's this? What's Hello, this? manager. Who's this? Who's back? Yeah. Oh my god! I'm back. It is so weird being back here. It's like, on the one hand, it feels like I haven't been here in ages because I've forgotten everything. But then on the other hand, it feels like I never left. It's so strange. But it's, it's lovely. And obviously, this is sunglasses on Valiant, so I don't know. I don't know. Ah! And I've like forgotten how to use the till point. I've forgotten all of the prices. I've forgotten the names of the products. I've forgot I've forgotten everything. Can I even do makeup? Is my name Lucy? But um yeah, it's it's good to be back. It's a little bit quiet tonight, but embarkation is always quiet because people are like sussing out the ship. Um but it's just nice to meet the team. A few of them have been in and said hello and yeah, it's just good good getting back into the swing of things well guys i have just got back to the cabin after finishing my first shift and you know what i figured out why i was really nervous at the start because obviously i started in 2020 with virgin and there was a team that was created there and then that team like was on Scarlet in 2021 and then was on Virgin, I'm oh, sorry, and then was on Valiant in 2022. So every ship I've gone to, I have like known 80% of the people on that team for a long time. Whereas going into this team, I know five members of the team um, and there's 20. So a lot of them I had never met before. So it was really nerve wracking and I was like, oh my God, like this is what it feels to join a ship for the first time. And I, I know that sounds really weird, but like I said, I haven't had that experience for the last few times because I've known everybody. I'm like, this is what you guys go through when you join your ship and you're stood there and you're like, oh my God, I hope they like me. And yeah, but. Everyone seems really nice. Everyone's been so friendly and really welcoming, which is good. But as you can probably see by my face and tell by my voice, I am deliriously tired because it is 12 o'clock here, which means it is 5 a.m. in the UK and I am still on UK time. And we have a sea day tomorrow. So your girl is gonna have a shower and get into bed and get some well needed rest. But, Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed coming with me for my first day on board, watching me organize my cabin and do all of the little bitty stuff that you have to do on your first day. As always, I really appreciate your support. And if you do like my videos, then give this video a like, leave a comment, it all helps. But anyway, thank you again, and I will see you in the next video, hopefully when I am more with it. Bye guys.